Now today we've got something on the dyno that is unique and when I say unique, I actually mean it. Toyota Starlet, the guys at Camp Dogs from Darwin have built this thing and Starlet's a front wheel drive, we've got the front wheels set up but we've also got the rear wheel drive set up because this thing has got a Toyota Starlet four cylinder front wheel drive engine in the front and a completely separate 4EFTE engine in the rear as well. So it's got a Toyota Starlet four cylinder turbo in the rear, one in the front. They've both got automatic transmissions. It's pretty insane. You can start one of them and drive it front wheel drive, turn that engine off, start the other one, drive it in rear wheel drive. Now, the guys claim that these engines make 300 kilowatts each. So on their hub dyno, they make 300 kilowatts on the front, they make 300 kilowatts on the rear. We're going to put it on the roller dyno today and run it in four-wheel drive and get a bit of a feel for what's going on with the torque split, what those automatic transmissions are doing, and how much power it makes overall with both engines at wide open throttle. Okay, so this engine here, um, we built this engine on the side of the track about two years ago. Um, we wanted to keep racing, so we pulled the engine apart on the side of the track, rebuilt it, and that's how it's been ever since. And so the other car you've got's got compound turbo, right? Yeah. There's just been a lot of testing and trying to see what turbos work best and, and is that what happens you're doing a compound in the other one and then any turbo that doesn't work in that just gets thrown onto this yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we, we we mix and match parts a lot but i guess it's the best thing about having the same mm. cars yeah <laughs> it's very impressive and you built every single part of this in the shop yeah in our shed yeah sorry in the shed yeah shed shop shed um, other than the billet stuff, I mean, we made everything. Like Matt welded up the exhaust manifolds himself. He did all the, all the welding himself. Um, we did all the wiring, all the tuning. It's incredibly impressive. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so who at the beginning of this, w w this was a single engine car that made 300 kilowatts? No, Matt, Matt built this 12 years ago, probably now. Like, 12 years ago, someone sat around and put two engines. Matt did. He did that like 12 years ago by himself just welded it together. So then, yeah, maybe five or six years ago, I met Matt because I was turboing a style of myself. And I guess I was more of the nerdy, geeky guy. So I'm like, we can put some cool computer stuff on this and actually make it work really quick. So we're expecting to aim for around 800 horsepower. Since we thought 400 on the front, 400 on the back, maybe it'll make 800 on the dyno. Didn't quite do what we expected and it did something quite interesting. Um, I'll let you talk about it. So a couple of different things happened. So you're expecting 400 horsepower or 300 kilowatts at the wheels. Um, we measured about 285 kilowatts front, 285 kilowatts rear, mm -hmm. um, which You've got a hub mainline hub dyno, yeah. we've got the roller dyno, it's got radials on it, so. Makes sense. That feels good, that all makes complete sense. Um, the first pull in four-wheel drive was a bit interesting because yeah. the dyno got a bit grumpy, but then as we pulled it out of it, we realized that 
the thing that we forgot about, it doesn't have clutches anymore. It, it's got torque converters and the torque converters are different. Yeah. yeah. So the dyno is a bit grumpy because as we're loading into it, one of the converters is slipping it. Let, let's say it might have 20 or 30% slip where the other one might have 10 or 15% slip. So it still measured some super healthy power. Um, I think that what's probably happening is because they've, we've got two completely separate engines, but one control system trying to, to regulate these things. Um, we're at about, what, what did we end up with? Five? Five, five uh, it was 660 horsepower or something. So she's about 100 kilowatts down on what you would have expected of it to make 600 kilowatts, like 300 plus yeah. 300. Um, I think there's a bit in control system there and I think that two torque converters on one dyno is- And it's not having a good time, yeah. <laughs> Even steering the car, you could feel the front RPM doing weird stuff and- And in the, on the dyno, you can see the control system is grabbing catch it. Like it's really yeah. working hard on the front, whereas the rear is almost along for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it is a hell of a combo. It sounds sick when it comes on. It sounds even better when both of them come on. And you guys have done a cracking job building this. Really impressive. And I'm pretty excited to see what it does at the track. Yeah, awesome.